Reverend Deke O'Malley greets a hot crowd. He's selling them a return to the motherland. Gravedigger Jones and Coffin Ed Johnson police the crowd. His cell pitch ends and the cash grab begins. Suddenly a van crashes the party. Masked men shoot and steal all of O'Malley's loot. Coffin Ed returns fire as the thieves flee. The Reverend and his men follow the thieves. Right behind them is Digger and Coffin. O'Malley runs the cops off the road. A bell of cotton falls from the thieves' van. The van flips and bursts into flames. Then O'Malley's vehicle crashes into it. The cops park at the crib of O'Malley's lady Iris. Iris gets a little too loose with the tongue and catches a side pimp slap from Coffin. Don't trip. Coffin pimp slaps down near everyone. Officer Jerima is given the assignment to keep an eye on Iris. Well, she starts to tease him with that chocha. And when he thought he was about to get the spread, he ended up butt naked with a bag on his head. At the crash site, the cops find traces of cotton. They investigate and find a witness who saw some white dudes running away from the crash. Digger interrogates the white mob boss. He scoffs at the idea of being behind a measly $87,000 robbery. O'Malley gets info that some white cat named Calhoun is offering a reward for a bale of cotton. That must be where the money is. Iris walks in and we've got a cat fight. Iris clocks old gal over to Dooku. Then the Reverend Knapp slaps Iris and dips. By the way, where is this bale of cotton? Old Uncle Bud found the bale of cotton. He sells it to Goodman at the junkyard. Calhoun asks Bud if he's got any cotton for sale. O'Malley's right hand man Barry interrupts and runs dude off. Barry reports to O'Malley that the cotton is at Goodman's junkyard. The cops tell O'Malley to the junkyard. They catch O'Malley and detain him. They ask Goodman about any cotton sales. Goodman tells him that Uncle Bud sold him a bell for $25 and then turned around and bought it back for $30. At the precinct, Reverend is about to self-snitch. They bring out Iris and she blows up his whole operation. They get news of a crime in Uncle Bud's. Lots of blood, but no bud and no cotton found either. O'Malley gets released. Some brothers tell him that they've got the cotton. Digger and Coffin let Iris out of jail as bait to lead them to O'Malley. She finds O'Malley kidnapped by Calhoun. Calhoun and O'Malley were working together all along. Each believe that the other has double-crossed them. Iris offers up the location of the cotton to Calhoun for a chance to kill O'Malley. But the cops arrive first and old Calhoun jets. O'Malley escapes too as Iris freed him in exchange for marriage. Brace yourself, shit's about to get weird. The bale of cotton is on stage at the Apollo Theater. A sister dressed as a slave starts to strip atop the cotton. Then <gasps> Calhoun shows up backstage in blackface. <gasps> O'Malley throws Calhoun onto the stage. Before the crowd can rip Calhoun apart, Digger fires a shotgun, saving Calhoun's life and then arresting him. Next, kids come out and start singing gospel tunes. Huh. That happened. Backstage, O'Malley has found the cotton, but Coffin Ed got that heat pointed at him. There's no slick talking him. Here comes another pimp slap. Iris busts in shooting a gun with her eyes closed and gets arrested. Pimp slap victim O'Malley stumbles onto the stage. He makes a plea to his people, but mid-sentence, they drop a big ass asbestos curtain down on him. Jerima finds no money in the cotton. Digger and Coffin are long gone. They're back at the mob boss's place. They squeeze him for 87 G's. By the time the bell gets back to the precinct, it's been refilled with the money. The guys get a postcard from Uncle Bud. He's not dead in some river, but living in Africa now. He got away with the stolen 87 G's. Thank you.